Hey folks, it's Fernando doing a video for the More Survivalist and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Umarex Glock 19 air gun. Now this is quite interesting because it's an officially licensed as this your officially licensed product of Glock. So it's an official officially licensed copy of the Glock 19. And it's not always the case that you have Glock actually licensing one of the guns that one of, one of these air guns that just look like them. This is something that Glock is pretty much authorizing, so so let's get used. Now, uh, Umarex is a German manufacturer of air guns. It has built quite a bit of a name for itself. This product in particular uses these CO2 canisters, 12 gram canisters, three joules of energy. Um, that's pretty much enough for, you know, killing uh, small game, say little birds, rats, that sort of thing at close range. Not much more than that, but it's firing these steel BBs, 4.5 millimeter or 1.77 inches. I mean, 0.177 inches. It has a 16 round magazine capacity, which is the same as the, the actual Glock 19, which is a 15 plus one round capacity. So it's the same thing here, semi-automatic. So you just pull the trigger firing per each round, which helps when using this for a practice and training. Smooth board, it's not awfully accurate, but in my experience, accurate enough. Double action only system, well, Glock is going to be pretty much the same. There's not going to be double action, single action, and the size and the weight is quite similar uh, as a Glock when fully loaded. So what you get is, yeah, I'd say it's a good, it's a good replica. It just looks very similar. I mean, most people would have a very hard time telling this apart from uh, a real Glock. And I mean, you know, just one next to the other I don't know what you think I think it's a very good replica I'm gonna be leaving the link below for these in Amazon I think that in the United States there's I saw that the ones is sold in, in Amazon for the US market they have like a, a red plastic thingy I guess you could remove that if you want not sure about the legality of that sort of thing but if you're gonna be using it in your house for indoor training I don't know that's kind of an adult thing to do to determine who's going to be handling this thing or not but in this case as you see very similar very well done yeah you have these markings that of course would be not there in the real thing but the angle is perfect the trigger i'd say it's quite similar um i don't think it's the same thing actually comparing trigger pulls ah it's it's close enough for me it's close enough the one that it's uh, available in the u.s market in amazon i think it's the bb uh, six millimeter version which is the airsoft kind of one um which has the disadvantage of not being uh, as powerful as as these ones as the steel bb yet on the other hand it has the advantage of being able to use that for force and force exercises, giving you're, you're using the, the safety mask and such. So those would be a, kind of a, the plus side of the six millimeter plastic airsoft version, but also made by Umarix. So this one is, I'm liking it a lot. I'm using it for, for practice and I'm gonna be doing a, a video following up explaining a little bit more in detail the advantages that I find in having this kind of, of air gun. You know, um, a replica pretty much of the, of, the one that, of the real deal thing that you use for, for training. Um, very quickly showing you how this works. You have your magazine, which as you see, you just press the magazine release, just like in your Glock, and you remove the magazine. Now you have this magazine that is uh, 16 rounds because there's no chamber here. So instead of having 15 plus one, you have this stick magazine with, with your rounds. And what you do is you just pour them through this hole like so. First you, you pull back, you have a little spring, you pull it back, and you catch it there and through the hole you start pouring your your BBs 
until you fill it up, which is quite fast, you know, fast enough to process once you get the hang of it. And you unhook it and the spring tension is pushing those upwards. Now, that's just one, one of the things you do. You also have to use one of these canisters which are again available in Amazon as well, very cheap. And what you do is you pull back this strap that it has there and you see um, a hex key so as to work this screw right there. So you pull it back a little bit, you put your canister in place and you start screwing it down. Now you have to be careful here, you have to screw it down up to the point where you start feeling it, a little bit of pressure builds up. That's when you're almost, you know, uh, piercing the tip of the, of the canister. You know, there's going to be a sort of like a needle that's going to be going through this, this tip, right? So when you have a little bit of pressure there, you get a good hold of it and you quickly squeeze it make a, a full turn as fast as you can so as to lose as little gas as possible. When that's done, it, it's that's it. You just fold it back, put it back in place, and you're ready to go. Now, this has quite a bit of power. It's not a toy as the... <laughs> and now it's fully loaded, ready to fire because, again, there's no chamber, nothing. The, the slide in this model is not moving. The one that I'm going to be li linking to below the the six millimeter one, I think that one has a working slide, which, you know, the slide works for each round fire in semi-automatic. That's, that's nice too. So, uh, as it is right, right now, it's hot, it's ready to fire, and it's not a toy. As, as it says here on the side, where is that? Mm, warning. Glock, the Glock air gun is not a toy. I mean, as <laughs> as clearly as you could possibly hope for it, um, use you have to use a, a eye protection. I I would even go as far as saying it's eye protection for this thing is even more important than with uh, you know. I mean, it's just as important as with live uh, ammunition because these things bounce like crazy. I've had already some of these just hit back um, when, when practicing just in a, in a few, in a couple of days. So the ricochet of these things bouncing around it is quite noticeable. So you have to be very careful with it. Basically that's it. It's a, a great uh, thing, a great product. And in the following video, I'm going to be explaining the advantages of having something like this. Folks, it's going to be all for now. Remember to subscribe, take care. Remember to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification one, because if not, you're not going to be getting follow-ups on future videos. Take care. Have a great day. See you in our next video.